Most of us don't know their names, but we do recognize their duty and sacrifice. We want to celebrate with you his great spirit and his love for his family. But if only for an hour, an Arlington lady is family. And sometimes, as in burials like this one, the only family present when an American patriot is laid to rest here. When we're at that funeral, we're paying respect, honor, dignity. They have attended hundreds of burials and stood with hundreds of families, starting with the Air Force in 1948. Today, they are part of virtually every Arlington funeral. After the flag is presented, we move forward to the next of kin, usually a spouse, and present the card from the chief of staff and also a personal note from the Arlington ladies. All of them have personal connections to the military. They are not professional mourners. Quite the opposite. And I am presenting to them any comfort I possibly can. And they have two extra ears, two shoulders to lean on, two hands to hold at one of the most difficult times in their life. They have to balance emotions with being a comforting presence. That is the hardest thing is the emotion. Um, it's, it's difficult, it's difficult. Too difficult for some volunteers. They literally self-eliminate when they break down and they hear the rifle volleys. That's one of the toughest things. You hear the rifle volley and then you hear taps. taps. It's hard. This gentleman is from World War I. The funerals, a timeline of America's wars. I think we're just about through with the Second World War now. Then there's Korea and uh, we're into Korea. No matter when or how they served, they can know this. The idea is that no one here is buried alone. That's, That's correct. correct. That's, That's exactly right. right. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.